What's poppin' y'all? Welcome to it's a tier list on every single Mystic Bow enchant. So basically, I'm going to be going through every single enchant and I'm going to be ranking them from S to F, you know? S is super good, F is really bad. So we're going to start it off with XP bump. XP bump, basically, every kill you get, you get a little bit more XP. The thing about bows, you don't get a lot of kills with them. They're more of a utility item than a killing item. Now, there are a few bows that are obviously good for killing, but for pure kills that you're going to get with bows, it's not a lot. <laughs> like, if you've ever streaked, you know, you're using your bow, you're shooting people, you're mainly using it as a little bit of extra damage and not your main source of damage. So any XP or gold-oriented enchants are going to be lower tier because they kind of suck. XP bump. A little bit more XP per kill, not the greatest, gonna go with an F tier. <laughs> the next one is Strike Gold. Now, Strike Gold is one of those enchants that's a lot better than getting uh, gold or XP on kill, but it's still not great. Strike Gold, basically every hit you get with a bow, you get a little bit of gold. It's a nice little source of gold, but it's still not great at all. It doesn't give you any extra damage, doesn't help you in 1v1 fights. It's more of a nice little perk for a, a bow instead of a main enchant that you would buy. So I'm going to put it into the D tier. Next is Jump Spammer. Now, Jump Spammer works really well with a couple of enchants. For example, Mega Longbow, where basically Mega Longbow gives you jump boost, so you're going to be jumping around a lot. And Jump Spammer, if you're in the air while you hit someone or while you shoot, you're going to do a little bit more damage. It's a nice extra source of damage, but it's definitely trumped by some better damage enchants. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into the C tier. Next is Pin Down. Pin Down is one of those enchants that you see a lot in hunting setups. Basically, it removes your target's speed and jump boost. Because you're going to be hunting someone and you're not going to want them to run away, Making it so they can't get speed or jump boost is very useful. That being said, it does need to be a fully charged bow. So that's kind of where it falters. Obviously, if you use it with like mega longbow, you don't really have that downside. And in a streaking environment, you aren't really going to notice any buff from it because it's more of a hunting enchant. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into the C tier. Next is XP boost. You don't really want on kill effects with bows. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the F tier with XP bump. Next is Mixed Combat. Mixed Combat, great damage output. It really excels when you have, say, a Mixed Combat MLB, Mixed Combat Volley that you can switch to in the middle of like a 1v1 fight, hit them with an arrow, do a little bit more damage with your sword. You know, it's kind of just a nice thing to have if you remember to utilize it. Definitely one of the better damage output enchants on the bow. Still not the one of the best though. It's just kind of nice to have. I'm going to put it into the B tier. Moctezuma, same thing as XP bump and XP boost. I mean, there are some good enchants that it can mix with. For example, like Devil Chicks or Explosive, I guess, where you can kind of fire off some shots in the middle, maybe get a couple kills still not great but it does give a nice amount of gold if you do get a kill definitely better than xp bump and xp boost so i'm gonna go ahead and put it into the d tier you know first shot you know first shot seems good on paper the first shot you do against someone does a little bit more damage it's nice but at the same time there's just better damage outputs you only have that little boost of damage from the first shot. It's not even that much of a difference from just a regular bow shot. And since it's only active on one shot on a person, which if you're fighting against like a non, like a non prestige player, that's fine. You, you'll, you'll take the, the damage because you'll probably kill them in a couple shots anyway. But when you're in like a god fight or a 1v1, you need that consistent extra damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and put first shot into the, the C tier. Next is chipping. Now, here we go for damage output. This is one of the only enchants on the boat that does true hearts of damage. Chipping is an enchant that makes all other enchants on the bow just better because it just gives you more damage 
and it's just a nice thing to have. True damage basically goes through armor, so you're always going to be doing the amount of hearts that is said on the enchant. That can be utilized in a lot of different mystic combinations like chipping volley, for example, chipping MLB. It's just a really nice enchant. I'm going to go ahead and put it into the A tier. Talking about volley, that's the next one that's up. Volley, amazing enchant. Probably one of my favorite enchants on a bow, just because not only does it give you a good damage output and makes it so you can land your shots easier, but it's also a great way to get your arrows back. A lot of people overlook how to get arrows. With bows, there's two enchants mainly that people use to get arrows back. That's Bottomless Quiver and Volley. Volley is 100% superior of the two, and not only is it great for getting your arrows back, but it also has other uses. It's an enchant that combos extremely well with 90% of other enchants. For example, Volley Devil Chicks, Volley Pull Bow, Volley MLB. All of those enchants are basically god, god bows. You know, you're not gonna find a bad combination of enchants with volley. Granted, XP bump and XP boost with volley, you're not really gonna be getting much out of that, but it's just a great overall utility to have on a bow. And plus, you get like, it's cool. You get, it's like a machine gun. You're like a pew pew pew. What are you gonna do against that, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and put volley into the S tier. Next is gold boost. You know, gold boost is like the, the forgotten cousin of Moctezuma. Everyone talks about how great Moctezuma is on like swords and pants, but gold boost is like, it's just not the same as Moctezuma. It's not that much extra gold unless you have Moctezuma on your bow or you're wearing Moctezuma pants. You're just not going to get a lot of out of gold boost and it's more similar to XP boost, honestly, than Moctezuma. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into the F tier. Next is Wasp. How did the developers think this was a good idea? A bow that gives weakness for like half a minute? It lasts for like a millennia. I have a volley wasp bow. It, you just hit them once and they don't do anything. You nullify their attacks. Super great to have. Wasp 3, one of the best bows in the game. One thing that I love to do is a perk called Kung Fu, where you do damage with your fists. Wasp, if you hit them with a wasp 3 bow, they, <laughs> they don't do damage. <laughs> like... No, they literally don't do... They, they, they can't hit you. They, their attacks do nothing. Just for that alone, and how you control people using Kung Fu, I'm gonna put it into the S tier with Volley. Next is Telebo. Honestly, Telebo is an enchant that everyone should have at least one bow with. It's just an amazing utility. Shoot an arrow, teleport to the location of the arrow. Simple to use, great for almost every situation. You're streaking, you wanna get out of there, someone's hunting you. Telebo away. You're chasing someone, you want them dead, Telebo to them. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the S tier with Volley. Next is Faster Than Their Shadow. Faster Than Their Shadow is one of those enchants that you need to have very specific enchants with it. For example, if you have like a Faster Than Their Shadows 3 Mega Longbow, that's gonna be really, really good. But there are very few other enchants that combo well with it. Faster Than Their Shadows Volley sounds like a good idea, but due to the nature of volley, where you're not going to be hitting every single shot, this is actually detrimental to the effect of Faster Than Their Shadow, where you need to hit consecutive shots. It is the only way to get speed 4 in the game, which makes it just phenomenal, but it's a very specific requirement to get that speed 4. Hitting two shots in a row is fine. It's not impossible to do, you just go into middle, boom, boom, you're done, you know, you can get speed pretty easily. But when you're running, you know, you need to have that that speed at the ready. Now, what, what's happened in the past with me is I've been getting hunted by people, say, with dark pants. The speed doesn't work if you hit someone with dark pants. It's a good enchant, it's a great utility, but it's honestly a little lacking, I would say. I know that's kind of a controversial opinion, but I think it's gonna go into the A tier. Next is Sprint Drain. It's honestly just a better pin down. Instead of removing speed from your opponent, you give them slowness and give yourself speed. Really, really good 
for hunting people. And it's just, as I said, it's just a better pin down. So it's gonna go into the better tier of B. Next is Fletching. This is the uh, sharp enchant of bows. It's just extra damage. It's not amazing. It's not, it's not a huge amount of damage, but it's consistent. It's just extra damage. How can you go wrong with that? I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the C tier. Next is Spammer and Proud. Kind of in the same boat as Fletching, where most of the time it's just gonna be a consistent bit of damage, but it does more damage than Fletching. I actually just looked at what Fletching actually is. Uh, I think I got it wrong. It does a lot more damage than I thought it does. I'm gonna go ahead and put Fletching into the B tier and Spammer and Proud into the C tier. Yeah, Fletching 3 does 20% damage, while Spammer and Proud 3 does 21% damage. But you need to be close to use it. I, I, I thought I thought Fletching was like sharp, where it's just like, oh, you know, 10% extra damage. Nah, it's, it's 20%, that's pretty good. For like 100% of the time. Yeah, I got it wrong. My bad, my bad, my bad. Next is Pants Radar. It's like gold boost and XP boost. You gotta get it on kill. But it's even less noticeable because the percentages of Mystic Drops, 90% won't help. And you're not gonna be getting kills with bows. It, it's it, it's like G tier. It's, it's bad. It's, you just put it in the F tier where it belongs. Next is Pull Bow. It's the best hunting enchant. You have a Pull Bow MLB. No one can run from you. But then again, I don't like hunting. And I don't like getting Pull Bowed. But it is pretty funny because if you shoot someone in middle, It'll not only pull the person you shot, but anyone near them as well. So it's funny to just kind of like shoot them and then just like, you know, have like 50 people coming your direction. I'm going to go ahead and put into the A tier. Next is Explosive. Now, I'm a little bit torn about Explosive. Explosive does not combo well with the enchants that you would think. Volley, Explosive, does not work. Only the first shot of Volley gets the Explosive effect. And the Explosive effect is a lot less powerful than you think. It's mainly more of a knockback tool than actual damage output. Kinda like a worse devil checks. You Yes, you can use it to kill people who obby themselves up. You know, they, they go into a corner, they put obsidian around them. You can still damage them with the explosive effect. I think in a video, I did this on a person who tried to get out using obby. It does like a heart each time and there's a cooldown. So I was barely doing any damage, it just took like 5 minutes to kill the guy. He wasn't even in diamond armor or anything. And the only real use that I've ever had for my explosive 3 is knocking people off of King of the Ladder. That's basically it. And Polbo does that better. So out of all the rare enchants on bows, it's, kind, it's just kind of lacking. I'm gonna put it into the C tier. And also, while I'm talking about it, the size of tier 1 and tier 2, it's nothing. It, it's like... It's nothing. I would rather have just like a, a fletching bow than an explosive one bow. Gold bump? I, I'm honestly not sure why they have Moctezuma and gold bump. They do the exact same thing, but Moctezuma just gives more gold. I compare enchants a lot, you know, I was like, oh, you know, explosive is just a, a worse devil chicks. Moctezuma is literally just a better gold bump. Like, there's, there's no other comparison. But I put Moctezuma in the D tier. I think it would only be fair to put it with Gold Bump. It's a little bit less gold than Moctezuma, but you know, I, f I just feel bad for Gold Bump, man. <laughs> it was so close to greatness. If Moctezuma didn't exist, Gold Bump would be like, you know, you cut that stonks. But it's on a bow, doesn't really matter. If it was on a sword, Gold Bump's okay. It's just a worse Moctezuma. But you know, I I'm gonna put it with Moctezuma. They deserve to be in D tier together. On to Devil Chicks. You know, Double Chicks is just a fun enchant. It's just, it's, it's just a fun enchant. You, you you shoot an arrow, a couple chickens come out, and then they explode. And they, they do quite a lot of damage. There was a thing in the past where people had volley Devil Chicks bows, and they would use it in the event Rage Pit. And they would get, like, first every single time. Just because of the pure damage output. And also when people obby trap themselves, this happened to me earlier today, I, I obby trapped myself and uh, this guy had brought devil tricks and there was nothing I could do. It does a lot of damage, it does true hearts of damage, and it just completely destroyed me. So that was fun. In a recent update they made it so that devil tricks no longer works in events, 
which nerfed it quite heavily because the main reason people used volley double chicks was to get like first place in rage pit but they nerfed that so i'm gonna go ahead and put devil chicks into the a tier it's still really good it has its uses it's a fun enchant but in a recent update it was i probably would have put it into an s tier if it was still the same as its old self but it got nerfed a bit, so I'm gonna put it into the A tier. Next is Critically Rich. Uh, it's like, uh, it's like Strike Gold, you know? Except it's for a fully charged bow. Granted, it's a little bit more gold than Strike Gold, but that time to charge up your shot fully, I'm conflicted on whether to put it on in D tier and F tier, but I think it's only fair if I put Strike Gold in D tier, I put Critically Rich right next to Strike Gold. Next is Lucky Shot. Now, I love Lucky Shot because I have a Mega Longbow Lucky Shot. Mega Longbow 2, Lucky Shot 2. I love that thing. It's really fun to use, but it's not good. Unfortunately, it's just not good. I stopped using my Mega Longbow Lucky Shot in favor of my Mega Longbow Faster Than Their Shadows 3. Just because Lucky Shot, if you don't have Mega Longbow with it, you're gonna have to charge up that bow to do four times damage if you if you just kind of spam it you're not going to be doing damage even if you do get the extra damage the extra quadruple damage from the effect but it's just not consistent the damage output if you don't have mlb is going to be lacking if you don't fully charge it which takes quite a long time especially in like a 1v1 fight i'm the only person i know who uses lucky shot and that's only because i have a lucky shot mlb i'm gonna go ahead and put it into the d tier Next is Parasite. Parasite's just good. <laughs> it's just like vampire on a bow. It's just nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the B tier. Mega Longbow. I mean, it's just the best bow enchant. <laughs> Period. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it makes everything better. It makes Lucky Shot really good. It makes Explosive really good. It makes Parasite really good. It makes Sprint Drain really good. It makes Mixed Combat really It makes literally every other enchant godly. Mega Longbow, Telebow. Boom. You have a bow worth like 30 pant bundles or more. Mega Longbow Volley. Yes, that works. Mega Longbow Faster Than Their Shadow. Instantly just amazing bow. Mega Longbow Pull Bow. Uh, pr probably the best combination of enchants for hunting. Even Critically Rich is just really good because every bow shot is going to be critical. Yeah, I mean, I would feel bad if I didn't put an S tier. In addition to the fully charged thing, which is the reason why it's S tier, it also gives you jump boost. They just tacked that on. Mega Longbow 1. And Mega Longbow 3, the only thing different is the jump boost level. Probably the best enchant in the game, honestly. Just because of the combos that you can have with other bow enchants. Like, even Perun doesn't come close to it, because Perun 1 and Perun 3, there's a big difference between them. Mega Longbow 1, Mega Longbow 3, that's basically the same thing. It's just so good. Next is Arrow Armory. I, I don't like Arrow Armory. You have to restock on arrows like every two seconds, but it is a nice bit of damage. And if you have it with like, you know, an MLB, it's more of a downside than anything because you have to use more arrows to do not that much more damage. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the D tier. Next is push comes to shove. Yeah, one of my favorite enchants. It's just so fun to use. I have a volley push comes to shove. You shoot yourself three times. You just go flying across the map. It looks like your speed hack. You use it on other people. Use on a hunter after you, they just go flying across the map. They're no longer a threat to you. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the A tier. Screw you, it's one of my favorite enchants. Sweaty. We all know where Sweaty is gonna go, right? Sniper. For all you guys who wanna do <laughs> epic 360 no scopes, dude. Send it to phase, get ignored, you know? When you're using a bow, probably around 50% of the time, they're gonna be like right next to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the D tier. What doesn't kill you? One of two of the healing enchants. What doesn't kill you? You shoot yourself with an arrow. It doesn't do damage. It just heals you. Volley. What doesn't kill you? Godly. What doesn't kill you? Three. By itself. A great source of healing. You're a little bit low. You're running from someone. Shoot yourself. You literally get to just shoot yourself. And for that, I'm going to put it into, you know, B tier with Parasite. Next is an enchant that probably you have never seen before. <laughs> Robin Hood. It was removed. Uh, it, there are still bows with Robin Hood on it. They actually nerfed Robin Hood even though like no one has it, they nerfed it. It used to be where levels two and three, every shot that you do would home. 
It's a homing bow. Level one was a fully charged shot, but levels two and three would be any shot, but it would do like 50% of the damage or something like that. They nerfed it so every level of it needs to be fully charged to home because what was happening is that people had Robin Hood bows and they were just spamming right click whenever someone got near and you just couldn't get near them. It, the, just the knockback from arrow after arrow after arrow after arrow was just you, you just couldn't fight it so they nerfed it they removed it like the update after it was introduced like a year ago it's one of the two enchants that was removed robin hood and double jump were removed double jump was removed because it would allow fly hackers to bypass watchdog robin hood was removed because it was homing arrows it was broken i mean it's it's an s tier just because of the rarity of it and how good it is. Even though it got nerfed, it's still just homing arrows. Like, how do you go wrong with that? Next is Bottomless Quiver. It's the other way to get arrows on a bow. Volley or Bottomless Quiver? Bottomless Quiver is just worse than Volley. You don't get the extra perk of more arrows. You just gain arrows on a hit. I guess you can get a ton of arrows, but at the same time, for 90% of the people who have bows, you're not going to want to have 2 billion arrows in your inventory. And for that reason, I'm going to put it into the D tier. It's a utility that not many people need. And the last one, True Shot. It's just shipping, except worse. And it's a rare. Whenever I enchant a, a rare, the one thing I don't want it to be on a bow is True Shot. And that's what I always get when I enchant. Screw you, True Shot. Why are you a rare? Chipping should be the rare, not True Shot. True Shot is like the, the stupid cousin of chipping that no one likes. Why does this exist? It's bad. Why? Why? Why is it a rare? I, I don't understand why it's a rare and chipping isn't. Like the, the, the little like 45% plus a little bit. No, no, it's bad. It's terrible. Whenever I get a rare, it's like, oh my god, I got a rare. Is it like a telebow, a volley, a mega longbow? No, it's always just a true shot. And I always just end up throwing it into the middle of pit because it's absolutely useless and I don't know why it's an enchant. That's all that's all of them. Pretty even tier list. If you like this video, you can do whatever you want. I don't care. You don't need to like or subscribe. I'll probably be doing a uh, a pants one soon. So look out for that and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye. <laughs>